Hello, and welcome to Test Complete, an automated testing tool for desktop, web, and mobile applications. In this video, we will show you how to use variables in Test Complete tests. Simply put, a variable is a named piece of data that you use instead of hard coded values in your tests. This helps you make your tests clean and easy to maintain, modify, and scale. You use variables to store test data like username, email, or the URL of the tested website. You can also use them to read values from an external data source like an Excel sheet or database, exchange data between different tests and projects, and to perform helper tasks like creating loops or taking user input. You can create variables for keyword tests and scripts, projects, and project suites. For keyword tests, you do this here on the variables page of the test editor. The project editor has a similar page. Here, you can create variables to use in multiple tests of the project and to share data between them. And you can even create project suite variables to exchange data between the projects belonging to this project suite. You can make project and project suite variables persistent to store values between test runs and temporary, which means the variable will store the value during one test run only. When you start the test again, the variables will have their default values. Variables can store values of different types a string, numeric value, table as a two-dimensional array, a reference to a remote data storage, and so on. Table variables often serve as data sources for data-driven tests, and TestComplete offers a special data generator to help you easily fill these variables with data. You can also invoke the data generator from this menu. Okay, now let's see how you can create and use variables. To do that, we will use a simple keyword test that opens a web page of an online store and logs in. The test has commands with hard-coded login and password values. Let's replace these values with variables. Switch to the variables page and create a new variable. Let's name the variable login var as it will contain the login name. The value type will be string because the login name is a string and will also specify a default value that will replace the recorded login. You can also specify a description, but for now, let's leave that empty. In a similar way, we can add another variable and name it password var. It will store a new password. Let's choose the password type for it. This type helps you hide sensitive data in tests. TestComplete stores this variable's value in the encrypted form, and the values are masked in the product UI. Let's type a new password. As you can see, the entered password is hidden. OK, now let's add our variables to the test. To do that, select the operation containing the hard-coded login value, open the operations parameter, select variable mode, as we want to use a variable and choose the variable. Similarly, replace the hard-coded password with the password var variable. Now let's run the test. As you can see, the test has logged in using the login and password stored in the created variables. In our example, to assign a value to a variable, we specified this value in the default value column of the variable editor. If needed, you can also assign values to variables in tests. To do this in keyword tests, you can use the set variable value operation. You drag this operation to your test and set the variable value. You can also assign variable values in test scripts. Test complete includes special script objects that provide access to variables of all types. For instance, this statement assigns a new value to a project variable. And these statements set values to a keyword test and project suite variable. You can also create script variables and use them in your script tests. For more information on this, see the specifications of the scripting language you use. We hope this information helped you understand variables in Test Complete. Thank you for watching. To learn more, please take advantage of our documentation, videos, and online community at smartbear.com forward slash support.